G'day Leo, welcome to TJ Terra Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as that now. See what's going on, hey? Decks I'm using will be listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them as per usual. Alright. Let's go. Gee. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Leo, please. Okay, that's two. One more, please. Whoa. Okay, we got three. Alright, we have Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Hmm. Somebody who enjoyed their time with you. Hmm, past life relationship. You've known each other before. So somebody who already knows you or knows you from past life. And heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Hmm. Okay, I want to have an honest heart-to-heart -heart with you. Ooh, we've got retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. It could be to retreating together, though. Ooh, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. They've retreated because of some sort of red flags or they're being cautious here because they've seen red flags before with other people. <clears throat> Practicing that self-love, being self-respectful here. But they do see you as a soulmate. They retreated from something that looks like a red flag. I mean, they, you know, being, you know... Being self-respectful here and not putting up with something that you did, Leo. <laughs> hmm. Well, they don't want to cause something to be a red flag. Like, hey. I mean, it could be you've spent this holiday time together. But they don't want it to always be just... You just get together for, you know, a bit of holiday fun. That's going to create a red flag of <clears throat> only getting together on, you know, occasionally for hookups sort of thing. Uh, that's why they want to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Because they see you as more than that. And they don't want to give off the red flags. So they've retreated to... <clears throat> Have some self-respect here. Okay. All right. That's, that's a healthy thing. All right. Tell me about Honeymoon for this love energy coming towards Leo, please. Thank you. Ooh, five of cups. Hmm. <clears throat> Disappointed that it was just a holiday time together. Ooh, yeah. Disappointed that it was just a holiday fling with you. Or well, that it's a temporary, yeah, with you. There's your, there's your one of your, well... It's actually the sun, because all the other cards that aren't the main cards are planets. Like, the hangman's actually Neptune, I think. Um, the tower is Mars. Um, yeah, so this is actually the sun card. But, you know, Leo is ruled by the sun, so... And Cancer's ruled by the moon, but, you know, that's been applied to Pisces in tarot, so, yeah, anyway. 
you made them really happy. They had a lot of joy and happiness. They were really happy. This is the happiest card in the deck. Really happy of that time they spent with you, but so disappointed that it was temporary. Page of Cups, Temperance, The Fool, and The Queen of Cups. Waiting for that love communication to come in. This is what they're waiting for, being patiently waiting for. This beginning that's going to happen, this best love in the deck. Beautiful love between you two. Well, a be beautiful love for you. Yeah, they've been patiently waiting for this loving communication to come in from you, for the new beginning to start. Because they have this beautiful love for you. Hmm, okay. Yeah, so disappointed that the happiness ended there. It was only uh, just a get-together. Mm. Alright, past life relationship. Why is that here for the love energy? Coming towards Leo, please. Come on, you can tell us, past life relationship, thank you. Six of Swords and the Ace of Coins, alright. So the past connection, they've moved on from and found their own stability. Or they've moved on from the past. Looking for a stable new beginning. And they're looking at you, Leo. Moved on from that past. Well, you've known each other before. They want to move on from the past of what it was before. And have a stable new beginning with you. <coughs> Hangman, but they're feeling a bit stuck. The past didn't go anywhere. In the past, it didn't go anywhere. Could have been you were just friends. You just knew each other before and it never went anywhere. They want to move on from that and have a stable beginning with you. <clears throat> Two of Wands, the Magician, King of Cups, and the Page of Cups. And we did see the Queen of Cups before, didn't we? There's the King. <clears throat> Yeah, there was indecision in the past about manifesting something. Emotions were held back from being spoken in the past. Well, they held back from speaking their emotions in the past to you. Whoever this is. Yeah, they controlled themselves. Tell me about heart-to-heart -heart conversations for this love energy coming towards Leo, please. Nine of coins. Single, stable, grounded, independent. Um, like the king and queen of pentacles, but in single mode. Wanting to have a conversation about being single. Conversation about being single and independent. Keeping their independence. See, I've got a single mode off that Ace of Pentacles too, because it's a one. <coughs> I want to move on from... <laughs> Four of Cups. I'm not looking at the offer. <coughs> heart to heart about them staying single and not offering anything. Hmm. Two of Swords. Yeah, not making a decision. Ten of Wands. It's a burden. Eight of Wands and the Queen of Swords.
burdened by not making a decision, not wanting to make a decision, burdened by all the communication about coming correctly. Whoa, so retreat, red flags. Ah, soulmate, yeah, okay, so, yeah, so, yeah, they've retreated, because they see red flags here, they're all about themselves, but they do see you as a soulmate, but they like that single life. Enjoyed the time with you, but there was disappointment because it made them feel really happy. In the past, they moved on from having a stable beginning because it didn't want it to go anywhere. Wanting to have that heart-to-heart -heart about staying single and not offering anything you'd be interested in. What? This is weird. Wanting to stay single but offering something anyway, but you're not going to be interested in it, or they're not interested. I keep getting they're not interested in offering anything with love. They disappointed you because it was a temporary thing, a holiday fling. In the past, they moved on to have their own, to keep their own stability here and left you hanging. And, you know, they want to have this heart-to-heart -heart about the fact that they're single and didn't offer anything. Hmm. Give me three more cards for the love energy. Coming towards Leo, please. It's gone on the floor. Grab that. Oh. <sighs> Two more, please. One more. Thank you. Oh, we got extra. We'll take that one back. Let's go these two. Oh, these one, this one that fell landed first. All right. We have Cheetah. Get clear on your intention. Stay focused and move quickly to achieve your goal. Ooh, yeah. See, that's that. Far, that's that far, very fast energy. Achieve the goal of that time with you but hmm weasel oh my God. be silent pay attention and simply observe with your eyes ears and physical feelings what is happening inside and all around you hmm <clears throat> and panda create a sacred space for yourself and in your in your home and all place of work yeah, I'm getting that feeling of them wanting to, a space for themselves. Got a cheater and a weasel, <laughs> which can be used in negative connotations of cheater, cheater, always a cheater. <laughs> and weaselly, weaseling out of something, yeah. And yeah, they weaseled out of it in the past. But look, be silent. See, I don't think they said anything. They paid attention to what was going on. They knew what was going on, but they didn't say anything. And they were clear on their intentions. They moved fast in for this time with you and then took off again. Achieved their goal and moved quickly. Yeah. Hmm. What's at the bottom? Humpback whale. Music is essential to your healing and well-being, whether singing, playing an instrument, or listening. I get a feeling they send you music. Blue heron. Make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right, in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others. 
Ladybug. This is a time of good fortune and abundance, so be willing to receive all good things in your life. And Wolverine, you're a lot tougher than you think you are. See, yeah, I think they use music to get to you, or the, that was part of the connection between you two. They sent you songs that they liked, or they sung to you, or played an instrument to you. Something to do with music was how they would heal things with you, or bring the, uh, back together with you. And I think they just do what they want. They do what feels right for them in spite of whatever anybody else says, whether it's good or bad, actually. They always feel like they're lucky, like luck's on their side. They may even act like they're a lot tougher than they think they are. <laughs> well, I'm getting that. A lot stronger than they think they are, than, yeah, than they really are. They, I'm getting that the other way around. They, they act a lot, think they're a lot stronger than what they are. Not they are stronger than what they think. Hmm. Okay. Let's clarify. I'll read them out again as I do each one. All right. As I always do when this deck comes up. <laughs> oh, we've got the devil. Oh, dear. All right, so, Cheetah. Get clear on your intention. Stay focused and move quickly to achieve your goal. Why is Cheetah here for the love energy coming towards Leo, please? We have Temperance, Seven of Cups, and the Six of Wands. Yeah, I'm hearing that, yeah, that it's like a cheetah that's like stalks its prey. Like they're really patient in waiting. Very patiently they'll wait, and then when it's ready to strike, they come in. And that's when I think they cause a lot of confusion with their fast movements here. A lot of emotional confusion for you to succeed at what they're, they're wanting to achieve. To get the success they want, they throw up a smoke screen, but they patiently wait for the right moment. Very tactical, I'm hearing. Very tactical. Oh, I'm going to move these up a little bit, actually. Okay. Bottom of oh, we'll get that card. The fool, yeah, fooling you. Very good at fooling you. It's like they're I'm also hearing it's like they, they sit on the edge of this cliff. Throwing the rose down in the leap of faith, but they're they're not leaping. They always they come to the edge but they don't leap. Ace of Cups, Four of Swords, Page of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, again, yeah. It's like they come in with this cup of love heal, to heal what, what they've done before, get the information that they need or get what they need, and then act single again. Yeah, don't like this. Oh, judgment. And yeah, and then come back wanting another chance. Queen of Cups. Wanting another chance at your beautiful love. But you give them the cup and then they just pour it out. Like, well, yeah, thanks. I don't really need that. Alright. Weasel. 
Be silent, pay attention and simply observe with your eyes, ears and physical feelings what is happening inside and all around you. Like I said, they're aware of everything. Tell me about Weasel for this love energy coming towards Leo, please. Oh dear. Oh dear. Here we go. Alright. Ace of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. The Devil card. Ace of Cups. King of... Oh, the Emperor. I thought that was the King of Wands when that landed. It's the Emperor. Wow. Yeah, and they're definitely a weasel. They don't say anything. Very paying a lot of attention to this. Yeah, it begins like a stable beginning, like it's going to head towards his ten of pentacles and that they're going to commit, male or female. But it's just a game of the devil. <coughs> because the love here, the beginning in love, is being controlled. <coughs> I'm hearing it's like a strategy, like a, yeah, it's, it just, it's just, the love is toxic. Because it's all being controlled and manipulated and and ruled over. It's like they get control over you. Yeah, it turns toxic because you give them the cup of love and then they feel they can control you. <coughs> oh, sorry. Oh. <coughs> they don't want me to tell you. Um, that's why they silent. They get they do the silent treatment. And then they watch you try and get this to happen again. Yeah, because look, ten of ones. They don't want to be burdened down with with all the ins and outs and dealing with that, the conversations that they need to have to have an, a relationship. They say nothing because it's too much of a burden for them. They weasel out of it. Four of Pentacles holding back from the Ten of Cups. Yeah. Nine of Cups, yeah, eight, exactly. Yep, they hold back from offering long-term love. Because it's all about their own self and the wand action. Yep. The passion. The passionate wand action. What's that? Two of Cups. What's at the bottom? Five of Swords, yep. See? The love connection is... Manip mind games and manipulation. Wow. And we've got three of cups, like third party. Which I don't normally just automatically go to that, but in this case I do. Yeah, and it's bringing me to this. They're not going to offer you anything because they've still got other other options that they're they're dealing with. Other people that they're dealing with or playing they're single. Alright. Panda. Create a sacred space for yourself. In your home and or place of work. Tell me about Panda. For this love energy coming towards Leo please. Cards went everywhere. We've got the star card. Eight of swords. Eight of cups. Two eights. Your cards. Leo's cards an eight too. And the empress. So yeah, they do want their they want their own sacred. It's all about their own safe self, a space for themselves. This is all what they are focused on, creating a space for themselves. That's what they're wishing for here. And when they start to feel trapped, they walk away. Because it's all about creating their own 
creating and creating and growing their own self things for themselves themselves yeah that's all they wish for is to create something for themselves very selfish energy yeah when they start to feel trapped they walk like you know this is going to that they see it as trapped they walk away and create something new or you know create something for themselves and that's why we have this love yourself first it's a it can be a selfish card you can be health healthily selfish in taking care of yourself but this person does it at the expense of other people yeah ten of cups that's their happy ever after to have their own little space and you know to get what they wish for, which is those honeymoon holiday times together with someone. But anything, you know, start to get caught up in something and they'll, they'll walk away. Because it doesn't benefit what they're trying to create. Nine of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Two of Cups, and the High Priestess, yeah. They wound people, this is a wounded warrior, because by holding back... From any sort of loving connection here, they just keep it all see all, all the see you know everything's got to be kept secret. But they are also a wounded warrior. They've been hurt by something which made them like this, like hurt people, hurt people. It's, I'm getting that energy here. They've definitely been wounded by something here, so they like to take off and lock themselves away from everybody. Yeah, they hold back from con connections with people. Deep emotional connections are not something that they... They're very guarded against that. They hold back from that. And they keep everything a secret, locked up inside. They like... Yeah, they're just really selfish. They, you know, it's a, they do things in a negative way to, to get what they want. Well, they, yeah, well, they do, because they manipulate people to get what they want, and then once they've got what they want, they chuck them away. Yeah, but I think they're going to have a heart-to-heart -heart about, you know, oh, I just want to be single and I'm not looking for anything here. Yeah, see, look, I don't want to love you. They're not looking for love. All right, give me at least three cards for what this love energy would like to say to Leo, please. Okay, I can't give you what you want. No, they can't. They can't give you what you want. You're looking for love. That's why you're here at my reading. But yeah, they can't give you what you want. They can't give you love. They know that. I bury myself in work to forget you. Yeah, they do. But it's not like... It's like once they've done what they've had to do... Well, gotten what they want, sorry, gotten what they want out of you. Then they go off and start working on something else and just forget about you. I'm afraid of these. They're afraid of feelings. They're afraid of, you know, people who have feelings for them. They're afraid of feeling anything for anybody else. It's fear. I should have told you how I felt, yeah, and they're going to do that. Possibly because they have other things already lined up. So if you turn around and go, well, no, I'm not going to be part of your little, you know, play things. They go, oh, well, whatever. I've got others, so I don't care. I, yeah, I'm not available. <laughs> there you go. 
Yeah, they're not available for a connection. They're not. They will retreat. Because red flags to them is a connection here. It's all about their own self-love. But yeah, they, they see you as a soul mate. Someone they can mate with. We have lots of soul mates. And you know, they might even use that line on you. Oh, you're a soul mate. Yeah, look, I love your smile. Yeah, they like it. They love it when you're smiling at them. But when you're going, well... No, I'm not putting up with that crap. Oh, no, they don't like that. <laughs> I regret letting you go. Can we at least be friends? I feel safe with you. They love it when you smile at them. Regret, and they'll say, oh, regretfully, I have to let you go. <laughs> but can we still be friends? Yeah, keep the door open in case I want to come back and try and, yeah, use you again. And uh, They feel safe with you because they know you're not going to treat them like crap, like they treat you. They know you're not going to do this to them. Like, well, they, you're not going to play them like they play you. So, of course, they feel safe. Letting their guard down for five seconds with you and then getting what, you know, well, they get what they want and then guards are back up and see you later, Leo. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, let's get a message for you, Leo, from the universe. One card, just general message, anything you need to know. One card for Leo, please. Message for Leo, one card, please. And there it is. Rest, yeah. You've been working hard. Take a nap and get some rest. And I think it's... Well, if you've been working too hard, yeah. If you've been working a lot, you need to take a rest. Um... Take a rest. I'm hearing take a rest from this, them coming back in again and doing that same thing again to you. <sighs> Take a nap, get some rest, yeah. And just in general, keep your rest up. Take a nap if you need to, yeah. Because, yeah, you've been working hard, Dale. All right, bottom of the deck, tranquility. And look at that. Make time to relax. Be still and enjoy your solitude. Indulging in much needed self-care. So yeah, get some rest, relax. <laughs> and just do some much needed self-care. You've been wearing yourself out, Leo, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, you've been doing too much. So either stressing out or working too much or whatever you've been doing. Get some rest, take a little nap, relax in a nice, beautiful, warm bath or something. Just indulge in some self-needed, much-needed self-care. And then take, enjoy some time alone. Just not dealing with anybody. Yeah, and accept heaven's help. Yes. Because, <laughs> yeah... The universe is trying to tell you, you need to slow down, Leo. You're going to burn yourself out if you're not careful. So relax, rest, take a nap, rejuvenate, take care of yourself. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, that's your reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And thanks for watching. All the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.